No More Monsters for Me by Peggy Parrish. Not even a tadpole, Minneapolis Simkin, yelled Mom. And I mean it. Okay, okay, I yelled back. Mom and I always yell a lot, but this time she was really mad, and so was I. I stamped out of the house. I did not care what Mom said. I was going to have a pet. I would take a long walk and think about this. So I walked down the road. Suddenly I heard a funny noise. The noise came from the bushes. I stopped and listened. Something is crying, Minneapolis Simkin, I said to myself. I will find out what it is. I looked in the bushes. Was I surprised? Wow, a baby monster, I yelled. I looked at the monster. It looked at me. Then it ran to me. I put my arms around it. Don't cry, I said. Minneapolis Simkin will help you. The monster stopped crying. We stood there hugging each other. A monster for a pet? I asked. Mom never said no to a monster. But I never asked her that. Will she say yes? I needed time to think about this. But there was no time. It started raining. The monster did not like it. It started bawling. And I do mean bawling. Okay, okay, I said. I grabbed the monster. I ran home with it. Mom was in the kitchen. She did not see me, but she heard me. Are you wet? she asked. Yes, I said. Hurry and get dry, she said. Supper is about ready. I ran to my room. So far, so good, I said to myself. But what now, Minneapolis Simkin? I shook my head. I did not know. Min, yelled Mom, supper is ready. Coming, I yelled back. I started to go down. The monster came too. No, I said, you can't come. I put the monster in my closet. It started bawling again. What was I going to do? I looked all around. My teddy bear, I said. I got the teddy bear. Here, I said. The monster grabbed the bear. It stopped crying. I ran down to supper. Mom had made a good supper. Then I thought of something. Monsters have to eat too. Mom, I said. What do monsters eat? Food, I guess, said Mom. But what kind? I asked. Oh, said Mom. Is this a new game? Mom loves to play games. So I said, yes. Let me think, said Mom. What do monsters eat? I was glad to let her think because I saw something. I saw the monster. I will be right back, I yelled. I have to get something. I had to get something, all right. I had to get the monster hidden. I grabbed the monster. I took it to the basement. The monster started crying again. Quiet, I said. If mom hears you, we are in for it. I grabbed an apple. Here, I said. The monster took the apple. It stopped crying. I grabbed another apple. I ran back to the table. Here, mom, I said. I gave the apple to her. What is this for? she asked. 
I didn't know what to say, but I had to say something. Because I love you, I said. Mom laughed. Minneapolis Simkin, she said. I love you too. Then Mom said, Pickles. Pickles? I said. Of course, said Mom. Monsters love pickles. I didn't know that, I said. Then I asked, Do you know where monsters live? Yes, said Mom. They live in caves, deep, dark caves. Gee, Mom, I said, you know a lot about monsters. I love monster stories, said Mom. I read lots of them. Did Mom like real monsters too? I started to ask her, but I didn't. The basement door was opening. I will be right back, Mom, I yelled. Minneapolis Simkin, yelled Mom. Can you sit still? Hiccup, hiccup. Oh no, the monster had hiccups. Now you have hiccups, yelled Mom. I will get some water, I yelled back. Hiccup, hiccup. I opened the basement door. My eyes almost popped out. You grew, I yelled. What did you say? asked Mom. Nothing, I said. I pushed the monster back into the basement. It was awful. The monster was huge. It was all lumpy. Hiccup, hiccup. I got some water. Drink this, I said. The monster drank the water. The hiccups stopped. Min, yelled Mom, please bring me another apple. Okay, I yelled back. But there were no more apples. Now I knew why monster was lumpy. I grabbed a potato. The monster grabbed it from me. I grabbed another one and ran. I locked the basement door. Here, Mom, I said. Min, this is a potato, said Mom. I asked for an apple. Oh, sorry, Mom, I said. Min, said Mom, why are you so jumpy? Is something wrong? Something wrong? Was it ever? But maybe mom could help. So I said, I am fine. Tell me some more about monsters. Where are those caves? Up in the hills, said mom. But don't bother to look for one. Why not? I asked. They are all hidden, she said. Only monsters can find them. Are you sure? I asked. That is what my mother told me, said Mom. I looked and I looked. I never could find one. I sure hoped Mom was right. I had to get that monster home. It was not a good pet. Then it happened. Crash! Mom jumped up. What was that? she asked. Then she looked at me. Min, she said, you were in the basement. I nodded my head. Did you bring home an animal? I nodded my head again. Minneapolis Simkin, yelled Mom. I said no pets. It is not a pet, I yelled back. Then what is it? yelled Mom. I did not mean to. I did not want to. But I started bawling. It is a monster, I bawled. I waited for Mom to yell, but she didn't. Oh, Min, she said, you really need a pet, don't you? Yes, I bawled. But I want a kitten or a puppy. I don't want a monster. No, said Mom. A monster is not a good pet. I stopped bawling. 
Now, said Mom, go and close that window. Window? What window? I asked. The basement window, said Mom. I must have left it open. I just looked at her. I still did not understand. Minneapolis Simkin, said Mom. The wind is blowing hard. It blew something over. That is what made the noise. Go close the window. I went. There was a window open. The potato basket was turned over. The potatoes were all gone. But the monster was still there. It was sleeping. I looked at it. How would I ever get it out of the basement? It was getting bigger and bigger. I went back to Mom. I closed the window, I said. The monster is there, but it is sleeping. Okay, Min, you win, said Mom. I was wrong. I will make a deal. You get rid of your monster and you can have a real pet. Deal? Deal, I cried. That monster was no pet, but it was real. Good, said Mom. I am going to take a long bath. You get rid of your monster. Sure, Mom, I said. I was not sure, but I was sure going to try. I woke up the monster. Come on, I said. We are going. The monster came. It had to crawl through the doors, and I had to push from behind. But we made it. I headed for the hills. The monster followed. The night was very dark. I don't like the dark. But I had to get that monster home. We got to the hills. The monster looked at them. It made happy noises. Is this your home? I asked. The monster turned to me. Suddenly we were hugging each other. Then the monster ran up the hill. I felt good. The monster had found its home. No more monsters for me, I said. I ran all the way home. Mom was yelling for me. I went into the house. Minneapolis Simpkin, yelled Mom. Where have you been? Getting rid of the monster, I yelled back. That is what you told me to do. I started to bawl again. Mom looked at me in a funny way. She hugged me. Then I knew. I knew Mom didn't believe that monster was real. But Mom kept our deal. We went to the pet shop. Mom really surprised me. She bought two kittens. Two, I said. Sure, said Mom. One for you and one for me. Mom, I said, you are okay. And so are you, Min, said Mom. We each took a kitten and we went home.